Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, The Shafika Bass. I'm back again with another scholarship grad school video for you guys. And for the first timers, for the newcomers, my name is Shafika Bass. I'm a Ghanaian and I had my undergraduate degree in Turkey on scholarship. After that, I moved to Saudi Arabia to pursue a master's degree also in scholarship. And finally, I'm currently in Missouri, Colombia, pursuing my PhD in economics also on scholarship or what is commonly known as uh, the graduate teaching assistantship. Please do not forget to click on the subscription button and the post notification button so that you receive videos of this nature whenever I do post. And for both the, regular, the regulars and also the newcomers, do not forget to like this video and share with your connections, share with your loved ones, your families. I believe at least one person might benefit from this video. Do not forget to also share my previous videos on scholarships, okay? Thank you in advance to all of you. And finally, you can share your comments, your opinions in the comment section below. I'll do my best to respond to each and every one of you. Alhamdulillah, the channel is growing day by day and I really appreciate your support and your viewership continue to support the channel so that it reaches a larger audience. Uh, in today's video, my aim is to talk about some of the universities in the US that grant high stipend rates for graduate studies, mostly PhDs, but some master's uh, programs also provide high stipends. And you know, from our parts of the world, especially, or at least I can talk for Ghana, I believe Nigeria and other parts of Africa might share the same view. Normally, it's kind of a flex or, yeah, to attend a public university. The public universities are the elite universities in my country. We have the University of Ghana, the KNUST, University of Cape Coast, and some of the private universities are now upcoming. But in the U.S., that is not really the case. You can see the Ivy League schools, all of them are private universities. MIT is a private university. Stanford is a private university. The big schools that you can think of, most of them are the private universities. And these universities are very, very rich, to be frank with you. And so PhD students in these universities usually get a chunk amount of stipends compared to the uh, PhD students in public universities, in some of the public universities. I know some of the public universities also give high stipends. I'll make a video, a separate video about these universities another time. But for today, I want to share some universities, some private universities and the stipends they are giving to their PhD or graduate students in this year, in this year's admission and some of them in the previous years. So you can expect an increment in the subsequent years. So if you are interested in videos like this, kindly stick along so that you know some of these universities and then try your best and send in your best application to these universities so that you can benefit from these high stipend rates kindly stick along so that i take you through the universities that grant these stipends stay along guys hello guys and thank you for your patience thanks for sticking along we are currently on the web page of one of the universities which is emory university we are in the college of Arts and Sciences in the Department of Economics. And let's have a look at the financial package for PhD economic students. So the stipend is $37,467 per year for five years and is effective this fall, 2024. In addition, there's health insurance, subsidy, professional development, and other scholarship packages for these incoming students. And I, I got a PDF copy of the stipend for all the departments in the graduate school at Emory University, the Laney Graduate School. So for instance, African American Studies PhD students also get 37,467 per year and in per month rates is $3,122. And we can see biomedical engineering, the health sciences programs uh, also get slightly higher stipend rates, 38,000. And the business school, which is usually the richest college or richest school in the university, they also get slightly higher. I think they always get the highest stipends in the university, which is around 41000 for business students in the Laney Graduate School. I will leave the link or the copies of this PhD, the, the copies of these PDFs 
in the sec comment section so you can have a look at it yourselves and the next school is rice university this is also another private university and you can see from here they said what the stipend rates is between thirty four thousand and forty thousand dollars per year usually the forty thousand i i can bet is for the business school students so but at least the base stipend for every phd incoming phd student is around thirty four thousand dollars in addition to other benefits like health insurance and you can see one uh, over here it breaks down how it's given it's over 12 months the 34,000 so they break it down in monthly basis that's it for the rice university our third university is the university of southern california i also get a i got a P, pdf copy of the minimum stipend they are given to phd students for the 2024 2025 academic year and here it says what USC University of Southern California's minimum total stipend for PhDs will be forty thousand dollars beginning in academic year 2024-2025 and the stipend rate for the past academic year does not change and here it says if your stipend is what uh, the minimum of thirty seven thousand it will be increased to 40,000 or 4.5 percent increment whichever is greater so another private university which gives a high stipend rate to its PhD students the fourth university is the University of Miami you know we have two Miami's one is Miami University in Ohio and there's another one University of Miami in Florida so this is the University of Miami in Florida, the private university. The annual stipend is $46,000, which is paid monthly, in addition to 100% health insurance and others. This is from the Public Health Sciences Graduate Studies. This is the School of Public Health. And I also found another one in the School of Medicine. They also offer the same rates. I didn't get a full picture of the all the departments read but I believe they should be around these reads and finally last but not least this to me is the most comprehensive stipend read that I have found apart from the ones of course from the Ivy Leagues and from MIT and from Stanford yeah Stanford MIT and the Ivy Leagues are, are on a different ball game so we can we will talk about them maybe later but here is the Johns Hopkins University and this is from the collect collective bargaining agreement between the university and the student union and they came to this bargaining this academic year they are offering $47,000 to their graduate students and next year it will increase to $50,000 per year the following year to there will be a 4% increment I believe 4% right which is $52,000 per year and in addition to it just have a look at it guys have a look at it this okay there's a minimum of four years for the PhD students in the public health school the nursing school and advanced international studies school there's a minimum of five years of funding for PhD students in the engineering the arts and science school and the school of medicine but now look at these benefits this school to me it really treats its PhD students like full-time workers look at the benefits my goodness so all PhD employees will be eligible for need-based relocation allowance of up to $2,000 and up to $2,500 for international students. This way is more interesting. The university will pay the cost of health insurance premiums for eligible dependent children and spouses unable to work in the U.S., including dental and vision insurance. Can you imagine that? We know F1 students, their spouses and dependents, their children cannot work because they are on F2 visas and this university is ready to pay the cost of health insurance premiums and also look at the third bullet point phd student employees will receive child subsidies of 4500 per child per year for eligible children under the age of six years and 3000 per child aged six six to 18 years with a minimum maximum of twelve thousand dollars per year also phd student employees with adult dependents will receive subsidies of three thousand dollars per dependent per year international students will be eligible to apply to a yearly fund to cover visa renewal fees isn't this great guys 
so guys the essence of this video is to just inform you of some of the very lucrative stipend opportunities awaiting international students like you and me in these private universities the private universities are not just harvard yale princeton the ivy leagues and also stanford and mit and the other ivy leagues there are a lot of private universities that give very good funding to their phd opportunities i'm leaving the links to all these universities funding pages go through them yourselves and 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 dream and just dream so that it motivates you at least to send in your applications the application window is open you have at least three months to submit the earliest deadlines are i think december 1 between december 1 and december 4 so you still have time kindly send in your applications guys this is very very important so i leave you here today and until the next video i wish you a very successful phd hunting bye bye